no bones! Quick, Jesus! Come show those bones to his boss! Right. Now, those bones have been taken care of. Oh shit, it's more rocks. like a skull up there. Or is that just my eyes? You see right here? There's eyes and its mouth and yeah whatever. There we go. Are the rocks less scary for you now? Sweet! A way out! Off. Yeah. Oh. Why didn't he grab hold of the tree? The people have jumped out of planes without parachutes and not died due to falling through trees. That was a nice fluffy tree. Let's try this again. Ooh. Let's try this again. Well, it looks like a safe way to jump. We don't want to jump too far before hitting the tree. Probably here. Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys, I know. Bonk, 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 bonk. This looks like a new room. Should I carry on? I don't think anyone's carrying on too. And that has a magic curtain in the way. Memory jug! When will it be my turn? <laughs> a gripper, huh? What a betrayer. Maybe that's Terence's true name. Fuck off, chair. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Saw blades, very useful in um cricket bat? Is that cricket bat? I'm kidding. Flow cycle rod, I see. Uh, Half-life two players, now all about fucking saw blades. Fuck some shit up. So let me get this right. This room is darker than a cupboard that had no lights. This has a window with sunshine coming through it. that's going to trigger a plot event that will let me continue the game. We got that, guys. Trinity 4 Rod. Hey, Trinity 4 Rod. What's the nice m mnemonic? Because Trinity does love the dick. Let's see if this magic rubble's disappeared. No. Any other plot devices suddenly magically appeared? No. No. Spade. I don't even know what the point of me pretending any of these things are weapons. This game is never going to let me have a weapon. Which is ridiculous. Have they not seen a zombie flick? Have they not played Left 4 Dead? Have they not played Walking Dead, wa Dead Right? The Xbox game I've never played? The one where everything's a weapon? It's so cold. <sighs> Dramatic music makes me think this is worth reading. But it, I, I really doubt it. 
so many words. Agrippa betrayed him thousands of years ago, or something. Whatever. Outside. Oh, maybe not. What do we see in that view distance? Ding, 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 ding. I think what's directly up? Roof. So what did I get that key for? Have I even unlocked anything with that key? I don't think I have. I think it's going to be one more door, guys, and explore that room. I think it's another break, another set over. I'm taking this game in short bursts, but it is really quite difficult to play. It is really quite dull. Another sensibly decorated room. I mean, don't get me wrong. We would it take us to the inner sanctum? Wait. It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So. You have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Wait, 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 wait. Shut up, game. I was at what felt like ground level-ish, right? Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. What the fuck? More car scenes. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. That's that, that's fantastic. So we're at ground level, I mean don't get me wrong, I couldn't prove it. Can't see out the windows because they are all magically fucking unseeable. Um I went down like four levels at least and the room's not quite this tall but close to it you have looked out the window when I was out there and I was many floors high and it felt like I was underground especially with the underground cave thing filled with water but this is all inside where the fuck even are we have some consistency so now I'm getting in a lift to go further down even though we're still above Ah! Machine room? Didn't I get a key for this? It is like they took a bunch of different levels, drew them all up and went, right, well, let's just glue them together with transitions. It's going to have some consistency. July, 1839. Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. <laughs> the most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. <laughs> the mythic orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests <laughs> as a symbol of the sun and its power. Oh, as I was funny leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. You murderer. Are you just a big schizophrenic multiple personality disorder fuck who's going around killing people and you're actually a... If that turns out to be the case... It's so gonna turn out to be the case. Why did I not realise this sooner? Ugh. What do you reckon, guys? One. Um, two.